other animated films and animated features that we can uh, get hyped and excited for as well. Indeed. Um, one that was announced for Amazon Prime is apparently an anime film for the Lord of the Rings franchise called yeah. War of the Rohirrim. Uh, I don't have all the details as they pull that up for me. Oh, okay. But basically, if you know the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Rohirrim are the horse lords of the kingdom of Rohan. Those are the Vikings with beautiful blonde-haired Carl Urban. Uh, he's right up there with like Man Crush with Ryan Reynolds. Huh. Like, because damn it, Jim, he's a he's a because horse he's lord, not a doctor, not the law. Because he's behold, he's points at a bunch of women. My stuff. My stuff. <laughs> he's cursed. So Carl Urban is is. Almost equally ubiquitous, but he's but he's got plenty of style. I hope that if they're gonna go with that route, that if his character shows up again, that they at least have him voice it. That'd be neat. That'd be neat. Um, but Joseph, yes, please pull up. I will pull what, it up though. Give me just a second. He wore the Rohirrim. Hang on, hang on. Wait, what's that what guy with a red X? Joe, just pull up the article from the message you I sent. I did. I couldn't pull. I couldn't pull it up on. There message. we go. Pull it up from Polygon. There those we fucking go. Thieves. Warner Brothers revives the Lord of the Rings with animated movie War of the Rohirrim. To, uh, director Kenji Kamiyama, who was involved. Kenji with Kamiyama. Who was involved? Oh shit! With he Ghost did Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. Yep. No oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, oh. Okay. Now, oh, at first you had my you interest. Had now, now you have, you have my, my attention. Yes, the director will direct War of the Rohirrim, a feature-length animated movie set in the world of The Lord of the Rings. This is going to be CG or traditionally animated? I don't know, but I'm hyped now. A joint project between Warner Brothers Animation and New Line Cinema, The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim, is being fast-tracked for the big screen with plans for global distribution by Warner Brothers Pictures. Complete global saturation. The movie will tell the untold story behind the fortress of Helm's Deep, According to a news release, the delving that's where in, that's where they had the big fight in Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers, folks. Delving into the life and blood-soaked times of one of Middle Earth's most legendary figures, the mighty King of Rohan, so what Helm we're Hammerhand. Okay, first off, that name is fucking metal. Second, so we're going for prequel and build up on the world in this one. Exactly. I'm down. Okay. Because that way it doesn't get in the way of the current canon. Yep. What one thing that I am gonna appreciate is how badass. The, the characters of Rohan are even the king, King Théoden when he, they're cornered and in like the, the innermost fortu uh, fortress of like, we don't have any choice, we don't have any option uh, we gotta help protect the people trying to get away the only thing we could do is charge forward balls to the wall and just fucking ram these guys out of our way as best as possible yeah. but the speech he gives is fucking beautiful uh, tell me if you got it with me and just as the Urukai, the orcs are knocking down the door. Actually, you narrate it, because I'll butcher it. Go on. Fell deeds awake. Now for wrath. Now for ro a ruin. And a red dawn. For failing us! Oh, and this fucking shit. cavalcade of horse motherfuckers barge out. Like, oh, you want to knock on our door? Here you go. Boom, motherfucker! <laughs> Watch out for the first step. It's a little steep. I know. Man. The horn hey, of Helm Hammerhead shall sound to the deep one last time. Now Does that there mean are... you're still horny, sir? Always oh, oh, horny. horny. <laughs> now, there are co writers involved that are involved with the screenplay. One oh, of them got. is uh, Joseph Cho, who is a co who is a writer for the upcoming Blade Runner, Black Lotus, and Jeffrey Ooh. Addis. Okay, okay, okay. And Jeffrey Addis and Will Matthews, who are the writers for The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Ooh, okay, that's not bad. Okay. The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. The Dark right. Crystal, once again, I will never not be mad that he got fucking shafted. Yep. Bye but hey, if we, can, if we manage to apply their talents to something else, I am not complaining. I am thoroughly excited. You threw enough good names there that I'm actually excited again. So yes, I am down for this. Okay. Oh yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we I are definitely looking forward to that. And not just that, but another series, uh, but a series that's coming out on Netflix very soon. And I know you guys are excited for it. I'm personally excited for Gentlemen, it. Gentlemen, if we had swords, we would ra raise them aloft together. By, By the, the power, power of Rainbow! Rainbow. I have, have the, the power! power. Hey, so yes, man. the masters the of the masters universe. masters of the universe. After 40 years since the ending of the original series, a 2011 reboot and a Shira remake of questionable quality we have questionable some... excuse me you're right it was just shit no it was great it was yeah. right no, no you know what it was it was fine yeah you keep saying that 
I, I can't say that. I can't believe you. Still. Hang on a minute. We talked about I this before. Why are you going back on your? Uh... Like, I never went back. I always didn't like that show. That's fine. That's not what you told me. I liked it until season like three, and then it just went. Oh, uh, okay. No, I remember now. I remember. Okay. It was See, there good go. until later. It was good until it wasn't. But that's not what we're here. We're here to talk about the real shit. We're here to the talk originator. about the fact that after four decades, the original show of He Man and his He Manness has now returned to remind us of the beauty of the old cartoons we want to remember. Boy, featuring fucking Mark Hamill as Skeletor. Yeah. Apparently, it loses the plot. That something's Jack gone bad. Man. And he man has Eternia. disappeared, and now it is up to the remaining heroes of the realm to find our main character to get our shit together. By now, the way, main character voiced by Chris Wood. For real? Yes. Okay. Remind people who's Chris Wood. Uh, do you know? No. Okay. Let me do. <laughs> all right. Time to go, time, time to for start. research. It's time for some good research here. The all right. This fluff. guy's a new. Uh, this guy's must be a new face if we don't know who he is. Oh, maybe we just haven't known him before. Maybe. Chris Rock. Chris uh, Wood. He's an American actor. Here we go. Let's see. What okay. are you doing? Okay. Uh, Chris Wait, Wood is best familiar. known for... Okay, so those of you who like uh, who like uh, CW dramas, he uh, was on the uh, the series of Vampire Diaries on CW and also appeared in the Carrie Diaries in, in the role of, the, of uh, the character writer Adam Weaver back in 2013. So most At, of his work is in live action roles oh, so far. What's, okay. One thing that I will give the guy kudos for, his spouse... Melissa Benwast, a.k.a. Supergirl. Wow, nice job. Nice. No, dude, nice job. Nice. Okay. No, I'm saying nice without the thumbs up because the actual show itself is garbage. Oh. Which is a shame. Which is a shame because the actress is giving her best, but I swear to God, she, man. All right. Okay, so, she okay. did a good job. She did a very fine Supergirl. Along with Chris Wood and Mark Campbell, we actually have a very good powerhouse Including. Cast. We've got... Lena, uh, I'm going to butcher this name. Lena Hetty. Lena Hetty, who's voicing Evil Lynn. She was the queen of uh, Sparta uh, of yeah. 300. 300. Yep. They got Harley Quinn Smith, who voices who is, Uh That that would be Kevin Smith's daughter. Huh, cool. Uh, which, by the way, he's the one who's executive producing. So, yes, Silent Bob has given us a reason to cry manly tears really close to a camera. Good we also job, got, Bob. We also Good have other you. voices, part of the cast. Uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. Justin Long, Alicia Silverstone. Oh shit, dude! Just you cannot bring Mark Hamill back without apparently bringing back Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy. As what is even Merman? I was expecting him to be Man of Arms, but I can work with Merman. And we got Phil Lamar oh, wait, as he Is it Merman one of the bad guys? <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh and, shit. And Phil Lamar as Hero on this bitch. Uh, wait. Hold on, I gotta find out who else. Man, is. Oh, we are getting all the cool we people. We got. Here. Let's see. Where Kevin Michael Richardson as Beast Man. Oh shit! Is my boy. Oh, uh, okay. Legendary uh, voice actress Chris Summer as the priestess here. Nice. Okay, I got. No, yeah, I could see her as the priestess. Liam Cunningham as Man at Arms. Uh, Henry uh, Rollins as Triclops. Henry Rollins. <laughs> oh shit! Is he the guy that get, uh, that went Doom bugging with the Jackass yes. dudes while yes. they got a tattoo? Off road tattoo. So it looks uh, like we had a. To fuck you up. Yep. So we got uh, a bunch of really good names. So some fantastic looking Elena. animation, yep, beautiful music, Lynn. and He-Man with a cape. So, I am... Uh, okay. I don't, want to, I don't want to let my optimism blind me, because there is still ways this can go horribly wrong. It but, could. But, nonetheless, I want... Wow, my hand looks fucking massive from this angle. <laughs> we got this over here at our nice wide-angle lens over here. But, nonetheless, I truly wholeheartedly want to believe that Kevin Smith is doing a good job to not let us down. And that we can recall the beauty. And I know I'm asking for too much, but I just want one thing. What What's that? I want violence. Oh, you're going to have The original to show didn't get away with too many things because Hanna-Barbera, etc., etc. But we ain't go held down by that anymore. I want to see motherfuckers get decapitated. I want to see him man doing Devil May Cry combos on motherfuckers. I want smoking sexy style action. We might well, get that. We might get that. It depends sure. on what the rating is going to be. Make it R. It ain't gonna be R. It's gonna be by like the fucking power of fucking great Scott. Angel, oh, I God. have the motherfucking power. Wow. If, in case that, in case the point hasn't been driven home, folks, he is a fan of ultra violence and blood and gore. Well, to be fair though, as a child, I did in fact really, really like him, and it was fun. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, like the most it, powerful man in the universe. Punch the screen, hey, man. 
That was good shit. So, but folks, we want to know what you think. Are you excited about these two new animated features uh, series coming out over here? The War yeah. of the Road Masters of the Universe. You saw us getting hyped over here. Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you think. Uh, like, like I said, originally I wasn't like all too like impressed with. Oh, they're coming out with a like a thing in Amazon for a Lord of the Rings anime. Oh boy, here we go again. The production people. You gave me the fucking pl uh, plot on there, but and I'm like, okay. I'm convinced. You know, I'm actually excited over this. Gentlemen, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That being said, oh, no, I, I gotta admit, I'm a little sad that we reached the point that we cannot trust entertainment anymore unless we know that we have reliable names behind it. Uh, we've been burned so many times that every time a new project comes out, our first reaction is skepticism unless, wait, I recognize that name. Right, like <laughs> Red vs. Blue Season X or whatever the fuck that was, the, right. la the oh, latest God. one they came up Did with. Did that already come out? I no, forgot. Yeah, that, that one where they tr they killed Tucker. Oh, Sorry, wait, spoiler, they, they, killed they did what? They killed Tucker, those motherfuckers. And not even in a good way either. Just like, ah. He, he didn't even get a good send off either. Come on, oh. man. He's this the is, guy that invented Bow Chicka Bow Wow. This is why manga keeps outselling your entire industry, you By the fucks. Way, do we have any new comments there? Uh, not on Nothing the so far. Uh, Twitch chat. However, on the YouTube chat, uh, let's see here. Uh, Billy, you know what made me happy? PS5 owners losing their shit over, <laughs> over finding out God of War Ragnarok has come to PS4 oh, and yes. other games. The salt is too much for me to handle, laughing face emoji. Oh, the no, salt about it's Shira. great. So, yeah, by the way, it appears that PlayStation 5 has rung into the third snack. It's not the fact that it is way more expensive. It's not just the fact that it is nearly impossible to obtain unless you're willing to sell your child. It's the fact that the majority of the games for PS5 are either already on PS4 or coming out on PS4. So unless you're a stickler for frame rate, there is no reason to buy a PS5. I have a child I could sell. Or you could just get a hey! PC. You know, glorious yeah, PC mask. You. You're our mother's child. Ah! Who wants to buy a Jose Casabona? Would you we'll like him. this baby? We'll sell him for at least $1,000. That's our starting bid. 